Hi guys, welcome to DWC Academy. My name is Anoha UI and I'm a verified Canva expert. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a logo in Canva using basic shapes that you can trademark without having copyright issues. So before we jump right into the video, if this happens to be the first time you're coming to our YouTube channel, do well to subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell notification so you get notified whenever we publish new videos like this. So without any further ado, let's jump right into Canva where I'll show you how to start creating your logo from scratch using basic shapes and elements in Canva. Okay guys, so here we are in our Canva editor and this is where we're going to be creating our logo today. But before we get started, if you are just opening Canva for the first time, all you need to do and you, you don't know how to get here, go over to your Canva dashboard here. You should see something like that looks like this, maybe home. It should look like this. All you need to do is come over here and say create a design and here you've got different doc types. Now just select the doc type you want to create and let's say it's a logo, just hit on logo right here and a new doc type will open in the Canva editor so you can just start creating your design. Now let's say you have a free Canva account and you're not a pro subscriber yet and you want to create a logo, I will recommend that you do not create a logo using the default logo here which is a uh, 500 by 500 because your logo is going to look very um, pixelated in the long run so what I suggest to do is go over here and say custom size and you just have to scale this up to 3500 and go ahead and say create new design now the reason why you're going to do this is so that when you start designing and maybe you want to scale up you don't have to face the issue of the scaling problem because you're using a free account except pro users who can actually have access to um, scaling their designs while they are actually designing the logo and you also see most of that while we are creating our design so here is the duct type that we created and if you go to the resize here which is a pro feature you are going to see that it is 500 by 500 because we selected the default um, canva dog type for logo design but you can actually scale this up if you're using a canva pro account you can see that so but you're not going to be able to do this if you are using a free account so i recommend you do this first before you start designing so i just go ahead and resize you're not going to see any possible changes here but it is actually taking effect already and the size still remains the same but you notice the dog type here changed to 4000 by 4000 all right so here we go to the logo we are going to be designing today it's called site talk or you can call it sit talk or site talk well it's for talent for developers for creatives and this is just a fictitious brand and uh, i'm going to show you guys why i created this and this is something you can actually create in canva if you don't um I want to hire someone to do your designs for you and you might also be wondering is it possible to actually design a logo that you can trademark in Canva yes the answer to that question is yes and I'm going to show you um, right here from the Canva directory right here so if you go over to the Canva directory here and what I did when I came over here I uh, just come here and type a logo and you're going to see a lot of content here um, possibly asking or answering questions that a lot of people might possibly ask and you just come right here and say trademarking logos in Canva and here you can see creating logos you can register as a trademark and here's what they're saying there are two ways you can do this and uh, this is the second one here you can just upload your design but the first one here is what we're going to focus on in creating a unique logo in Canva from scratch you can use basic lines and shapes from your free library you can also use all of the fonts in canvas so that's what we're going to be creating right now and you notice if you go through all of this document you notice that there are a couple of things you can't do if you're using the generic logos right here that you can find uh, when you go over to designing with canva so that's what we're going to be doing right now and that's what i'm going to be showing you how you can create this particular type of logo in canva the second thing we're going to do is we're going to just copy this because this is not the proper dimension that we're going to be using. This is what we're going to be using, which is the 4000 by 4000. And it all depends on whatever you want to do. You can scale it down if you want, if you have got Canva Pro. So what we're going to do right now is paste that particular design that I just got. 
and I'm going to duplicate this because I want to break this down so you can see exactly what this logo is about. I'm going to pick this out. You can see we've got a triangle right there and we've got a circle right there and we also have another circle right there. We've got this shape right here and if I change that color, you can see that's the shape of the color right there. And then we also have this particular shape right here. It is a text. So I can just change that, you can see. So I can change it to whatsoever that I want right there. This is a custom made shadow right here. You can also see we've got this one. And we also do have this one as well. So to create this type of logo, we need about eight different elements together to form that logo. We have a, a page here copied here. So I'm just going to create one new page here. And we're going to start with the first one. So this is just going to be the file name for whatever we're going to be downloading right here. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to create all of those elements. But to do that first, I'm going to change this background here to any of those colors so that we can have the opportunity to see what we're creating because we need to create the logo first on white and before we put it on purple and that's exactly what we're going to be doing so here is what we have the next thing i'm going to do is if you notice this here this text right here is called peace sans but there are two ways you can do this you can either go here if you go over to this text here and you choose this and you just put in your u and you use the uppercase right here and you can just scale this up like this and you can go over here and choose and choose your piece sense and this is what it looks like right here and that's exactly what we use right here but I don't want to use this I think there is another way to do that so I'm just gonna push this one aside and I'm gonna go over to the elements right here uh, my shapes and this is what I'm going to choose so you can see that we've got this and raise it up now just to make it look how we um, want it to look and I'm going to drag this to the top a little bit and I'm going to change the color of this to white all right now you can see that it's coming out well and we just have to scale this position it to the center right here it's currently in the middle because you want your logo to be accurate in proportions now the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to look for the other part of it which is the inner part of this now there are two ways to do that but because I want to just use basic shapes I'm going to create that separately now I'm going to take the circle right here here is the circle that we have and notice the circle is actually in purple so I'm just going to choose the color that I want it to be which is this particular color here and I'm going to also position it to the center and also to the middle right here and you can see that it's right in the middle of this particular element the next thing I'm going to do is choose a triangle shape I'm going to change the color to purple we want to make something that looks more like a comment option like we're saying uh, it's talking or uh, just making a comment like that we have selected this too and the next part we're going to do remember we have a third one right here and that's what we're going to also focus on right now so I'm going to select this one here and you can see this is the color that it's got there and if we if we select it and just paste it right here you're going to find that this is what we do have here. But just for that, I'm just going to duplicate this one and change the color to this. So you can see we have both of them here. What, what I want to do is I want to place it below this and I want to make it look like a shadow uh, on the top of this. You can see this is where it is right here. And that's exactly what I want to do. So just watch what I'm going to do. So here is it, I'm going to send it option I'm going to position it to the back okay and then I'm going to select it again using my command and then I will just drag it you can see it right here so this is where it is here and then just drag it up a little bit again and push it towards the side and I can also reduce it I just want it to be at the extreme top right there so it looks like a shadow thin right there so you can see we've got that um, separate effect or that particular type of feel right there now we're almost done with this the next thing we're going to do is we just need to rotate this this way so we have that kind of shape right there but we're going to make sure it goes this way and exactly what we want to do right there 
and you can scale it down you can scale it up whatever way you want what we're going to do is go ahead and group everything together now after grouping this the next thing we want to do is we are going to export this particular design as an svg using transparent background we just want to see what is going to happen if this is going to allow us to select colors when we restore it back into camera so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to scale it up until this way here and then i'm going to go over to share and right here i'm going to say download i'm going to select svg remember svg is a pro feature so if you don't have canva pro there is a link in the description that will give you access to canva pro free for 45 days so you can follow along with this tutorial and then you can also come right here and select the page we want which is this select done and we want to use this for transparent background so let's give this a shot to see if it's actually going to work out for us and right now i'm going to say download i'm going to bring it right here we have it right here so if we delete this color here we can change this color you can see that everything is changing we can change this particular color can you see that so we can change it we can change this color right here and this actually makes our logo unique and this means that we can actually do so much more with this now here you can see we have this right here and it's right now as an svg file the next thing we're going to do is if you go over to elements and you go over to frames right here on the frames you can choose rounded corner frames and you're going to find a lot of shapes that actually frames have got rounded corners like this one go right there and change its color back you can see that the colors change and it is currently in the middle of your document here you can go ahead to reduce it if you want but this is fine the next thing we're going to do is we are going to get a shadow background for this we're going to just copy this bring it down here go over to share then we would say download we want to download as png and then we'll choose transparent background and choose the page that we want to download so just to make things right i'm just going to add shd here right here just to make sure that it's a shadow because i might want to use it again and page five is the current page and we just go ahead and say download we have it downloaded i'm just going to pull it into canva now there are two ways to do that if you already have a shadow element already you can just click on that element go to image when you go to adjust and see all you can copy the filter code and come to that particular element which is this go here go back to see all filter code you delete this one and paste this now you can see that exactly showing that if i go ahead to increase this you can see that it's exactly what we want but let me show you guys how you can just do this yourself without having to use a filter code now i'm just going to get a new page copy this right here go to edit then go to adjust see all here i'm going to just work on the brightness a little bit and just increase the contrast take down the saturation and then i'm just going to increase the blur gradually you can see that this is good then I go over to transparency and I can just reduce this. Then if I drag this and bring it here, send it to the back and increase it, you can see that nice blow shadow around that icon. I will select everything, reduce it and group it. You can go ahead and type in your text, but in my case, I will just copy this text and bring it right here. Then I'll push all to the left and I can just reduce this. This too, I can go ahead to reduce it and place it here. So you can see we have this looking really cool. Remember when you're exporting, always use this feature here, which is PNG and use transparent background. So you don't have to struggle putting the logo somewhere around your content or your photos or your brand or even your website. Now this is exactly how you go about creating your logo that you can trademark in Canva without having copyright issues. I hope you do enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one.